How Sexually Rejecting Your Spouse Affects Your Marriage. Hey guys, my name is Danny and I'm your life and relationship coach. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about sexually rejecting your spouse. Now, first of all, I wanted to take a minute to say, if you are <clears throat> rejecting your spouse in regards to sex, that does not mean there is something wrong with you. It is actually normal to not be in the mood sometimes. Um, I want to remind you guys that sex is a choice. It is not a responsibility in a relationship. We all go through periods of time where we aren't feeling ourselves. Maybe there's a little bit more stress in our life. We're a little bit more anxious and all of these things actually affects our sexual drive. However, if you are consciously and actively making the choice to reject your spouse, then at that point, I would say there is probably something a little bit deeper going on in the relationship. There's something wrong in the foundation of your relationship. It could potentially be that your partner uh, betrayed you or there was a break of trust or there was some infidelity. There are a multitude of different things that can happen within a relationship that can cause or lead to lack of intimacy or less intimacy in the relationship. But again, if you are consciously and actively making the decision to reject your spouse, then there is definitely something going on. So today I wanted to go over some of the things that A, might be affecting the relationship, but also how it makes your spouse feel when you are rejecting them. So let's get right into it. So as I mentioned in the introduction, there are a multitude of different reasons for why uh, there may be a lack of intimacy in your relationship or why you are actively rejecting your spouse. So it's about asking yourself those questions. Was there a break of trust? Um, was there, has there been a breakdown in communication? When did this start? When did I start feeling as if I did not want to be intimate with my spouse? Was there a specific action that happened? Or did it just gradually happen over time because of the monotony of the routine of our relationship? All of these are questions that you should be asking yourself in order to try to understand and get to the root of the issue. Because if you just hover on the surface, the issue will never get solved. And my assumption is, is that if you are watching this video, you are wanting to A, understand maybe what the cause of the issue is, was, or what that rejection is doing to your spouse. So let's get into how rejecting your spouse makes them feel. Number one, insecurities. So Rejecting an individual, rejecting somebody, results in tapping into that person's insecurities and more so when it comes to the category of sexuality and sex. So when you reject your spouse sexually, what you are actually doing is that you are unearthing any insecurities that your partner may have had that they are either A, aware of, or B, they are not aware of. And in doing this, what that actually does is it breaks down your partner's confidence. And in breaking down your partner's confidence, it results in a lack of attraction to your partner. So it's kind of a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you are unearthing these insecurities and they are becoming less confident, then you are becoming less attracted to them because they are less confident. So it's kind of like a vicious cycle. So Again, the first thing that emotionally your partner would probably be feeling is insecure. So your partner becoming more insecure and becoming less confident actually results in a breakdown in the marriage. And you will start to <clears throat> have unnecessary arguments. You will start to feel the tension in your relationship. I'm sure you are already feeling the tension in your relationship if there is a lack of intimacy and you are currently rejecting your spouse within the marriage. It's just something that you have to take into consideration because it adds an extra layer of tension and pressure on the relationship. Number two, confidence. The rejection of your spouse 
leads to a breakdown of confidence, like I had mentioned in step one. So step one was more so about the unearthing of an insecurity, which leads to the breakdown of confidence. Number two is the actual breakdown of the confidence. So when the confidence is broken down, then as I had mentioned before, the attraction level starts to go down. It starts to dwindle. And as we all know, attraction is a key foundational element in any successful relationship. You have to be attracted to your partner to want to be intimate with your partner. So if the confidence levels are starting to go down, you will start to see as well that the attraction levels will go down as well. Now, it's very possible that this has already happened in your marriage, which is why you are at a point where you are no longer sexually attracted to your partner or the intimacy is starting to taper off. If that is the case, then as I had said before, it's absolutely necessary to really try to understand the root of the issue and where these problems are stemming from. Number three, dissatisfaction. What happens over time as you continue to reject your partner is that your partner becomes dissatisfied in the relationship. Now, that doesn't mean that you aren't already dissatisfied in the relationship, which is possibly why you are rejecting your partner and you are not wanting to be intimate with him or her, but it will absolutely lead to dissatisfaction and Usually what happens when somebody is dissatisfied in a relationship, they seek comfort elsewhere. And that's when you really start to get into the big, deep issues as in infidelity, breaking of trust, betrayal, all of those things. So again, three, it leads to a dissatisfaction in the marriage. Four is frustration and probably the most common emotion that is attached to rejection. So if you are actively and continually rejecting your spouse sexually, what will end up happening is that your spouse will get frustrated, but you will also get frustrated as well because you feel like as if you are not being understood or your needs are not being met as well. But when you are rejecting your partner, your partner, again, will start to feel insecure. They'll start to feel a lack of confidence. There will be a decrease in your attraction. And what ends up happening is that they start to emotionally break down. And when they start to emotionally break down, they will start to lash out in emotional type ways. So they will get frustrated. They will get angry. You will have unnecessary arguments and bickering, and it will just become a vicious cycle. Frustration is something that can be incredibly toxic in a relationship because most of the time when we are frustrated, we do not communicate the reason for why we are frustrated. So those frustrations turn into resentment. So here's a pro tip. It is not necessarily about the rejection itself because like I said before in the beginning, sexually rejecting your partner is not uncommon. It's not something that doesn't happen in a relationship. We all have our our days, our moods. There's times when we're tired. There's times when we're stressed. There's times when we're just literally not in the mood. But it is about how you reject your partner that can change the dynamics and the perception of sex within your relationship. So let me give you some information on a study that I actually read about the ways in which to reject your partner that are healthy and negative. In a study done at the University of Toronto by psychologist James Kim and his team, they discovered that there are four rejection strategies, reassuring rejection, hostile rejection, assertive rejection, deflecting rejection. The healthiest strategy was reassurance rejection. So what is reassurance rejection? Reassurance rejection is when you tell your partner that you're not in the mood, but you reassure them with physical touch, with cuddling, or maybe letting them know that you're not in the mood today, but tomorrow you will be. Just letting your partner know that you are going through something or that you were, again, you were just not in the mood, but you are reassuring them that it has nothing to do with them. They didn't do anything wrong and everything is okay. That is the healthiest form of rejection. The other three forms of rejection are considered to be unhealthy and negative. So if you 
are following any of the other three types of rejection, then I would say you need to spend a little bit more time and really evaluate why that is how you are approaching rejecting your spouse. If you feel like you connected to this video, if you feel like you relate, please make sure you hit like or subscribe below. If you can relate and you want to let us know about your situation, maybe you, you were in a similar situation and you were able to get on the other side of it, or maybe you are still currently in that situation, I would love to hear from you. Please make sure you comment in the comment box below or just if you generally have any other questions. If you want to dive in a little bit deeper and you want to know a little bit more on this subject, please make sure you visit us at happilycommitted.com where we have a multitude of different articles and blogs related to this and many other subjects. You can also book a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with either myself or any of the other amazing coaches that we have here on the team. Again, my name is Danny. I'm your life and relationship coach. I hope you guys are staying happy and healthy and I hope to see you guys soon.